uh, the next little video I want to do in this series is about my natural things I have collected from say the beach like these the shells and the crab claws um, or the pine cones some feathers and things that I've found when I've been out there's some stuff that I've collected from working at the zoos so I just wanted to go through that in this video I've got um, a selection of shells and things here I've got these like scallops I've got razor razor clam shells I've got this crab claw I've got some more of these in the garage um, I was very proud of this. This is the first ever mermaid's purse that I found. Uh, I've not found very many, about three or four, and that's all within the last year. And then these pine cones I picked up on my walk one day. I thought they were pretty cool. They make pretty cool decorations. Put them on my windowsill for when I do my Christmas decorations. <laughs> Yep. So yeah, these are the first things. I've got some more shells. I collect sea glass. I know it isn't natural, but um, when you're walking along the beach and you see it, I just like to pick it up. I've got some other bivalves, bivalve shells, and some of these nice shells. These are really cool, pretty. There's one that's in half. Oh, it smells in there. That's quite pretty. There we go. Very nice. There's a tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny little razor clam shell right there. So, next, if I put my crab claw back respectfully where it lives, they can go back on the windowsill where they live. I leave the ah. shells there. So, Next, I have some feathers. So these, these are my rear feathers. I collected these when I was working on a farm. Um, this is a feather, part of a feather that came off of a red-tailed kite. Um, yeah, my boyfriend's brother had it. He doesn't have it anymore, but this was from when he did have it. Um, in here, I have all kinds of feathers. Uh, I thought I had a peacock feather, but I don't think I do. This feather is from an eagle owl. I picked this up when I was working with an eagle owl called Annie. And he was in fact a boy but we don't judge we've got pigeon feathers and all different things in there somewhere I have a feather that is from a budgie it is the smallest feather I have ever seen and I don't think I could find a smaller feather if I'm quite honest they're so tiny Right, my rear feathers are there. I can't get them mixed up because next, this feather, this is an ostrich feather. Ooh. I found this when I was in South Africa. But, no. I might have picked it up when I worked at the zoo, actually. I'm not sure. I know that we did find lots of uh, feathers in South Africa. This one is from a hardy dart ibis. Uh, have some teeth. This one is a giraffe tooth. I've never showed anyone that before. Nor have I showed anyone this one. This one is a kudu tooth. Porcupine quills because they're pretty cool. Oh, uh, 
here's one more thing. This here, this tiny, tiny stranded is a wildebeest tail hair. So all of my things that I collect are I've I've collected them myself. I've just picked them up off the floor. Like I've never gone up to an animal and plucked a feather out of it. I just thought that I should do a disclaimer on that. Um, I am not here to hurt animals. I love animals. I love working with animals. It's all that I want to do. I'd never hurt an animal or anything like that. I haven't taken anything that I shouldn't have taken. In this box, I have... This is a ram's horn. It was cut off. I'm not entirely sure why it was cut off, but it was. Um, the other things that I have in here, this was collected when I was working at the zoo and I worked with giraffes. This is giraffe tail hair. It's really thick. You can actually make bracelets out of this. People do make bracelets out of this in South Africa and stuff like that. Um, and last, I have these. These I got given to me when I was working at the zoo. These are from a routine nail check clip on sloths. So these are sloth claws. No. So I think these came off of a sloth called Carmen. She is known for having very fast growing claws. So every six months they get clipped and it just so happened that that's how much. It's just like, um, clipping a rabbit's claws you can't go too far or you'll hit the quick um obviously if you have seen a sloth claw these were from two-toed sloths so if you have seen a two-toed sloth claws you'll know that they bend round like a hook and so basically they just took the top bit off and if they don't it becomes really uncomfortable and they have to use different muscles in their arms and then it's really painful for them so yeah they clip them off and then because I was interning at the time they said we have loads so if you want some here you go so yeah it's one of the many vet procedures I got to experience and the nails are so tough that they actually use horse clippers hoof trimmers horse hoof clipper trimmers there we go that's a mouthful but yeah i uh, again hope you enjoyed this video this one was not how i thought it'd be but yeah i do have more stuff lying around i like to collect dead things is what i figured out um yeah next on my list i really want an antler from a deer yeah I will get one eventually but yeah for now I've just got a few bits and pieces and yeah it's not much of a collection I did think that I had more but I probably have more than most just gone through it really quickly but yeah I will continue to collect and see where we are at this point next year so thanks for watching, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if for more content like this give us a subscribe. Thanks a lot, bye!